Hello everybody, welcome to the video. Today we're here for some... Let's just make sure the start car is started. There we go. Here for some um, more VHC car action, this time from the Mall. Yeah, from the Mall. <laughs> it's the, uh, on the official calendar this season. Um, and it's the track for this week. It was free tonight, uh, being a Wednesday night. I just had a free night, so I thought, you know what, may as well do OSR. Every now and then when I can, it's fun to just jump in OSR and have a go, because it's a bit more of a relaxed kind of series for me anyway. It's something I just jump in, I think a good chunk of us is going to jump in to have a bit of a go. So, thought I'd have a go. Qualified P9, um, I think it's a 39 car field. 15 lap race, will require a pit stop. Um, so yeah, literally is superboat racing too, because um, of the way the cars are. So we'll see how we go. I'm just here to have a good time, so I'm not really too bothered about how we go here. Green, green, green! Oh, I need to be more aggressive. A few passive off the line, there you go. Right side. You're in the middle, three wide. Why, why? Hold your line, clear. Two wide, you're in the middle, three wide. Still there, why hold your line. Why Mark thought it was a good clear. idea. Car on oh. your left. Clear on the left. Oh, Mark really is a bit of a special cookie, but anyway. It's alright. So, I dropped a... I think we've dropped for about 11, so we dropped a couple of spots off the line. A little bit too passive off, off the line, because having the gears so long, because we're going to be reaching such high speeds, I... I kind of forgot about that, so need to give it a bit of a jandal to get it going. Well, Mark has no top end bolts of it either, which is interesting, but um. Oh, I think the plan is to try and. I want to try and clear Ian and Sean if I can at least. I should have the pace on pretty easily, so I'd like to fit in. Left side. Clear on the left. This one cleared. Still there. Clear. Righto. So back up to P10, I think. So still lost the one spot to Guy, but that's okay. We started. <laughs> cool. <laughs> the net lost nothing. I don't know why those two are going side by side, but anyway. Ooh. But it's literally a boat, as you can see, like how just lumbering it is through here, because unfortunately, because of the way the car works and how you get pace around a track like this in it, you've got to make it super duper soft. So basically, it's a literal boat through the corners. So <laughs> So that, and that's just how you have to have it. If you don't do that, then you don't have any top end speed and you don't have any overall pace. So, unfortunately, that's just how it is. Um, looks a bit ridiculous, 
drives a bit right weird. Drive. God, go Clear really. Right. Apparently, he's not realised how hot it is or something. Anyway. Uh oh, please don't give me a slow down. Ah, oh, far they out. You cut the course. You'll have to slow down and give up the time gain. Oh, clear, please. There we go. Car on your left. Please clear, please clear, clear please clear, left. please clear. Far left. out. There we go. Stay on the right. Keep to the right. Clear on the left. Yeah, I'm gonna get caught back here with the plebs. Oh well. That's what I get for jumping with no practice. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. See you later. There goes Griffin. What's going on there? Anyway, we're P8, but now we're down to. I think we're gonna be P10. I think we will be. I hate about where we were, but we're not making a good meal of all this. Well, the RRT cars have no straight line. Keep to the right. Still there. Clear on the left. the best start, pretty pretty tardy, and I did that in practice in qualifying twice too, I did that same thing with that curb. It's a bit dangerous, and unlike in unlike in other cars, we'll get through here first and we'll elaborate. Unlike, um, unlike GTs or pretty much any other car you'd race around here. The V8, obviously, because of the way it is, especially with how soft this setup is, you can absolutely pummel the curves, like pummel the curves, um, and generally you're fine. Now, unfortunately, that really entices you to do that the last chicane, and it's so easy to do that and get the slow down, so that's why I've already done this race. So I sit behind crackers here, a lot more pacing for sure. The question then becomes, can we catch up to the leading pack? I don't think we can, but, you know, give it a go. We're actually going to fight this. Left side. Stay on the right. Clear. There is just no grip through here in these cars. That's the way they're set up. Crackers might end up in our own little battle here. I don't think I've got the pace to catch the leading lot, but we'll see. Oh, okay, whoa! Clear. Right out. Go right. Second time. It's like people don't understand there's hot weather and all that sort of shit. There. All good. Alright, let's see what we can do here.
only got about four of us in this pack, that's not too bad. I get the feeling that Jamie's got damage. Steven's not going to set up the attack quick in a straight line. I don't know about Crackers, so... I'm pretty sure Crackers is the actual only, only real threat out of those guys behind. Brett's in that as well, I think he's coming through, having not qualified, I don't think. handsomely because you use about 10 litres a lap around here in the V8 supercars, gas colours as they are. it is Managing to break away, Brett's managed to break away from Guy and all those guys, which is not too surprising. Expect Brett to be coming through, so he'll probably get us eventually. If they want to keep fighting back there, then that's fine. I'm happy to piss off out of the slipstream. That's, that's fine with me. Jamie seems to be being particularly stubborn. He can be a bit interesting sometimes, but generally not too bad. Generally, certainly he used to be used to be when he started, he was a lot more um, hot-headed, but he's generally a bit better now. It looks like they're going three wide back there. So 
uh, some interesting times. Is OSR to be fair, I don't really take it as seriously either. So, all for a good time. But hey, if they want to keep battling, then <laughs> I'm not against it. That's fine. I'm um, cool. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just, bye bye. <laughs> I'll just leave you in peace. far off them, I mean, we're keeping with them, that's the thing, we're not gaining on them though, I don't know if we will, um, unless they start holding each other up, we'll see, and obviously the stops are going to be interesting, because there'll be, some of them will have saved fuel, and I was talking about who's saved the most fuel, unfortunately I won't really be able to save much, if any, because I'm out on my own, so, one problem about being out on your own, a track like Lamont. Red not really gaining like I thought he would, he's kind of getting stuck, not being able to progress. I think that's a problem that we're going to have, because obviously the slipstream is so powerful around here that you're on your own, you just end up kind of in a stalemate, not really going anywhere. Keep going though, a good spot, plodding along in P6. Good fun around here, they are actually good fun. They're different, <laughs> but they're good fun. Very, especially in this heat as well. Combination of the heat, the setup that you've got to use to be quick. And um, all that does make, make it for a, a fun experience. Certainly got to keep on your toes. Which is good stuff. So about nearly third race distance. That's another thing, you know, is to, if you're wondering, why is, geez, that car, that car looks like a real boat through the corners, that seems weird, I know it's a supercar, but Jesus, come on. It's like, yep. <laughs> it's like, yep. That's how it is here, because as I say, you've got to run it so soft. Same with Monza as well, because because of obviously how much of that's about straight line speed, you need to run it soft to have any kind of top end. And sure, you could run it for handling, but, well, it's terrible. could run it for handling, but you'll find you'll struggle to really get anywhere. Because um, you'll just lose all the time you gain the corners, you'll lose down the straights. So, Unfortunately, the only way to really get top speed out of these things is to drop the arse of them the back end as low as it can possibly go, which is why they look pretty ridiculous. This kind of configuration, like low rider race cars, is a bit very weird look, but... Like they are battling hard up ahead. Oh, James has made a mistake. Oh, rip. That'd be why. That old Jack pump it gave him a bit of a bit of shoulder. Not sure which one, but anyway. But yeah, so the only way to make it have straight line speed is basically to drop the arse as low as it can go to try and get that rear wing obviously as low as it can go because um, one thing with the V8 is that rear wing isn't actually adjustable in the sim. It's um, always fixed at the same angle and everything. So the only way to lower it is to 
you know, drop the whole car, or the whole rear end, so... Why you get these really bizarre looking... Or why they look so bizarre when they're racing around a track like this or Monza. So... And also why they're a bit weird to drive, because they're even more of a boat than normal, and they're already boat-like enough. <laughs> and like this, they are the ultimate boat. Oh man, I'm just terrible. Good thing Varga's being a pain to um, Michael. Wow, Brett still hasn't caught on, wow. He's actually dropped back into the clutches of Guy and Co. It's interesting. Anyway, we're still plodding along, we're catching the pack ahead because they're all squabbling it seems, and they're continuing to squabble behind, so we're continuing to pull away, so... They're kind of slowly edging closer to the pack ahead and getting away from the guys behind, which is good news. I don't feel like I'm driving that spectacularly, but... As I say, it is OSR. A lot of us do just jump in and have a log without much practice, so it tends to be a bit sloppier. Nearly got the fuel tank empty enough to pit if we want to. Um, I'm not really sure what to do on the pit stop, to be honest. Usually you'd sort of pit around halfway, but I almost think... have about five laps of fuel left. I'm almost thinking maybe it's better to stay out, to just make doubly sure we don't get caught in traffic. Your window's apparently open, although we're going to take less anyway, so... I've got JRT that set up to tell me what I need with a lap extra, and obviously, with how long the lap is, we don't want to be putting on what it says because we'll end up with about 10 litres too much. So, about 9 litres, I'll probably fill less than what JRT is telling me. Yeah, so we're just keeping with them. It's a bit of a shame that we had the slowdown at the start and all that, because probably with that pack right now, like on the back of it, that we, um, have we not had the, um, issue? Why have we not just had a bit of a tardy start? We've actually got a clean start, you know, clear crackers and put on the, got onto the back of Chris, we might have been able to tag on and be on the back of the pack, but that's alright. We're still in range, you know, if they start battling, which they, they, I'm sure will, if they start battling towards the end, then we can maybe gain. And Barker's still harassing Michael. Does not want to just sit behind and save fuel, apparently. Out. I'm actually not sure, it'll be a pretty decently long stop, I would have thought, because of the fuel. So it might come out in clean air, it's hard to tell, but we'll find out. So easy to hit that wall there, I did it in qualifying when I was on a quicker lap right at the end. Just 
no, just the wall, and obviously any contact at all in the lap gets discounted, so... Ahead, so I will too. I don't take much more curb now, I don't think. So that might probably be the one thing that might might cut me a little bit is not not being able to do any fuel saving. Whereas most pretty much everyone else around me is at least being able to do some fuel saving to some degree, so that's probably the one major disadvantage I've got where I am at the moment, so Spin City. Put that back up to where we had it. Would not want to, just did not want to put the power down at all. Cost a little time, but not too much. Why is now broken free from the pack? That's interesting. It must be a bit rusty. About to come up on halfway. Uh, how far into the race are we? Time was 24, so yeah. It'll be roughly 50 minute race. Usually his OSR is about sort of 50 minutes to roughly in about 50, yeah, about 50 to sort of 55 minutes thereabouts generally. OSR tends to be racing lengthwise. Varga still going at it. Just cannot let it lie, those two. Crackers. Like in a ripper of a last sector there. Well, I had a really bad lap to be fair. It's very slow.
episode, I think we'll probably end up being in about 46 litres, should be enough to get us home. See where we'll pop out out of all this because, as I say, we're one of the cars that hasn't really got a chance to fuel save too much. Um, a few others around me, like Crackers and Varg, and a couple of others, that probably haven't fuel saved too much either. But pretty much all the front pack there. Pretty sure that they've all had a chance to fuel save at some point, so. I reckon they'll get away a bit more, if anything. Um, I don't think I'll, I'll end up probably losing time to basically all of them, so I'll probably all end up taking less fuel because they've all fuel saved a bit. And I'll, I'm being a little bit safe. I'm going to just put in sort of like a litre more than suggested. And obviously, being Lamoy, you can fuel save pretty easily with all the long braking zones, but I'm just going to do that to be safe anyway, just in case I end up being on my own again. So I can push without having to worry about the fuel. Sam wants to go back towards the front again. Interesting. All good though, the little exchange looks like it might have caught me back up a little bit, so that's good. One of them stayed out, I think it was Ross too. Now. Wow, okay. The lead is pitting now. Wow, so Ross stayed out. He's the only one of them who stayed out, but looks like everyone else has come in. Crackers staying out as well. Um not bother with the pass crow, I suppose, seeing as we don't need damage. Might as well save it up. Okay, we'll see how we go. Interesting to see how many are. Uh, Differing strategies and all that sort of stuff. Oh no. Thank god. <laughs> oh, the starter. Itch every time. Okay, you're on a couple of. Best pub. James out of that one. Looks like he lost the most. Looks like I gained a bug a little bit too, which is good, but... Yeah, Jack probably lost a little bit. Yeah, Sam though. And Chris, the big winners. Makes sense, they were being pretty tactical there. James did lead for a while there, so obviously they were using him a lot, so he's been numped a bit. Should come out 
towards where Sam is, he's usually very savvy on fuel, so... So he should come out up towards the top end there, in that little pack. So we'll see how we go here, see if we can maybe be cheeky and catch up to Jack and or James, but... I mean, I'll be happy to just chill here in sixth, to be honest. Jack, so there'll be a little bit of battle. They'll probably go at it, I think, as well, because I don't think they're going to catch Chris and anyone ahead of them by the looks of it. So, we'll see, though. Hopefully, they do if they can start battling. I might be able to catch up, maybe, and get a few more positions, but whatever, really. James sending it straight away. The lead is pitting now. Possibly now. Going out of hammer and pong those two up. And yep, Ross coming out as I thought, up towards where Sam was. So we'll see how we go here. Oh, he lost out, lost out to Varga there, so that's interesting. Have to be tough to have held position because so I being on my own for a lot of that, a lot of that I didn't really get to fuel save at all. I had to obviously clear the cars that I knew I was quicker then and by then obviously the lead guys had got a bit of a gap so I ended up on my own. So five to go next time by. And uh, yeah, I'll bring it home at this point. Maybe hope to see if we can catch J Jack and James, that's about all we can really hope for at this point. Else is too far up the road now, so.
And yeah, we'll see, depending how we go, I think I get um, a weekend off soon. So I might be able to do AOSC. I think there is an AOSC round on the weekend I'm getting off soon. I think it's a 152, which is even better. So might be able to lob that. That'd be good. Have another go. Any race I can do with the V8, it's always fun. I just really enjoy the car. Even if I'm, you know, like at Montreal or Road Atlanta, the sauce when I was buried in the field, it was still a lot of fun, you know. It's a car I really enjoy. Keeping with Sam and that, that's the thing that's kind of getting me. Our pace is pretty much even with everyone around us. Lead bunch. Looks like Chris is actually catching across. That could be another battle for P2. So Sam's to lose by the looks of it. I think AOSC actually has that in the Juro this weekend, and they are actually doing it here at the mall, which is kind of a fascinating thought, but um, yeah, unfortunately I'm working this weekend so I won't be able to do the, the race, but if I could, I totally would have, because it would have been a, a very, very unique experience, but anyway. Well, I mean, you can just lob the curbing to the max through there. You've got five laps to go. PB on fresh rubber. Five, two, go. Bang on with the fuel. Gonna have about a litre spare. Maintain the gap, not really catching them. And wow, look at that, Ross is actually caught up to Sam, wow. Good stuff, so... Looks like the battle for the win is going to be intense to the end, so... But the battle for the win, I think Chris probably will potentially just catch that as well. So it might be a three-way battle for the win, then we've got a... Another one behind with James and Jack. Me sitting, <laughs> sitting behind it all on my own. A few of us actually here on our own. Varg is on his own, more or less. So is Crackers. And then you got a bit of a pack again behind him. A little bit, a little bit of a shame could have possibly been at least battling with those two if I'd got a bit of a cleaner start, but it's alright, it happens. As I say, just turned up to have a have a go for fun, so good to gain some spots, you know. Might to sixth or whatever is not too bad, so
pace drop off is real though, as the tyres wear, especially in this heat. Really bad tyre drop off. Yep, Chris in that battle too, so... We'll go through our battle for the lead. Going to be three to go this time by. It's been out of really in Varga too, so that battle behind's commencing again. I'm pretty much the only one by the looks of it. It went too deep there. Yeah, a bit scared there for a second. But yeah, it looks like to me, I'm pretty much the only one in the top. Nice have a look here. So yeah, the only one in the top 12 who isn't in a battle basically. And then you got Jamie there in, tw in 13th who's between battle packs as well, but other than me and him, the top 15 looks that I'm the only one who is in the battle pack, so <laughs> there you go. Interesting, could see some shenanigans towards the end. Ready to go this time by. Again, bang on the fuel, we're gonna have like about half a litre spare, so that's good. So we've got the fuel right. So pretty much is all that all that start, all that first lap, you know, dropping a couple of spots and then especially that slowdown in the last chicane, the thing that was a real a killer. By the time I'd gained back the time, I'd lost, you know, cleared crackers and all that, you know, the lead pack had already gone, so. PB out of nowhere. Know where that came from? Like a pretty mad lap at best. Slow down, I think. Rip. Yep. Let's just slow down for James. Oh wow! Looks like oh, Sam. Sam's dropped down now. I think he might have a slow down too. Rip. 
well. Changing up front. so close but the question now is will Sam be able to reel Ross back in or has Ross got the gap I think he'll be able to get him I mean really you just need to get within about one and a half seconds and then you'll start getting the fringes of the slipstream Kicking off around us, we've just been in the center of it all, kind of in our own little bubble away from everything. It's very odd. Yeah, we're gonna basically bang on this floor, which is good, so happy about that, right? Another slow down rip. He did, that's a big rip there. I think Ross, he might have done enough. He's keeping it at about, is that about 2.2 seconds? So as long as he keeps it clean and straight, might just have done enough. We'll find out soon. Chuck and James are definitely going to be going out to the flag, so that one won't be sorted till the end.
uh, last time, next time by. And yeah, unless there's a major incident um, ahead, which entirely possible. Looks like Sam might well catch Chris to battle for the second. I think at this point, Ross looks like he's gone in the bag. All he's got to do is keep it clean and consistent. You should have it in the bag. But, you know, still could be shenanigans. Jack and James are still fighting hard ahead of me, so... I think there will be a bit of feeling this will be it, but we'll find out. There you go, Crackers has been able to break free of Varga as well, so... Yeah. Wide. Apex there somewhere that I wouldn't know about. Whoa, whoops. That was a bit of a lazy contact. Might have actually done some damage there. Flag. That nice means one. one more lap to go. Crackers is on a bit of a mission at the moment, really hopping laps it seems. Sam been able to get back into Chris's third stream, so that battle for P2 might go to the end. And still got Jack battling away with James. Uh, meanwhile, we are, as we have been for this race, we're just kind of sitting on our own. dropping pretty substantially all of a sudden, so I wonder if we do have a bit of aero damage. See the time. Oh, right, that's, yeah, okay. Second down on our last lap. We are losing a little bit down the straight, it seems. Not too much, but just a little bit, yeah. I think we did manage to do a little damage there on that wall tap. That's all right, though. But it doesn't really matter in the end. We're going to still end up where we would have been regardless. Got it, well, hold on to Ross, could win. So 
Uh, Jack might win that battle with James potentially. Alright, well, there we go. Good fun. Good fun in the end, as I say, some battling early on, passing people, that kind of thing, and end up kind of just being on our own for all the race, just kind of cruising around. Oh, don't give me a slow down now. On the right. Yeah, just end up sort of on our own at the end, just cruising around. That was a very slow last lap, but the damage was a bit taking hold, but there you go. The flag. It's over. Great job, you did really well. Well, there you go. So, I think it was ninth to about sixth thereabouts, I'm pretty sure, so... I'll take it, as I say. Certainly not the cleanest race, pretty messy really, I think, as a whole. It's driving pretty bad most of the race, but that's right, any lob tonight just for a good time, so good to, you know, get a decent result out of it as well. Um, yeah, shame. Shame, as I say, just for that first lap, you know, shame to uh, get a bit caught there and maybe lose the chance to be involved in that lead pack. I don't think it would have, I get the feeling pace wise we're about where we should have been, but hey ho! Either way, it's still um, still a good time. So uh, yeah, anyway, and apologies as well for if there's bits of quiet there, and also for just generally being on my own for all of that. It ended up being a bit of a sedated run for me um, there. So apologies for that, but you know, such is racing. So uh, again, hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, it's bye for now.